This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. All right, I'm standing here with Kurt from, well, actually, is it Michigan? No, North Carolina. Originally? North Carolina. North you moved Carolina. from North Carolina to New Hampshire, and um, uh, you're a free stater, I moved here for more freedom. But yep. what are your thoughts on the major political parties in, 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 uh, in America? In America, well, I haven't found out how much, just how personal they are in New Hampshire yet. I'm hoping to find out, because with the 400 member legislature, it's definitely more personal than any place else I've lived. But they're, the major political parties are, they're just interested in getting reelected. There is no personal anything. I, I watched the first Republican debate and it was a bunch of people up there who had absolutely no idea that there was even an audience, much less people, human beings. They were just playing to cameras, uh, except Ron Paul, of course, but he's an exception to almost everything. The man who tells the truth and gets reelected. Imagine. Do you have a preference? Uh, one party over the other, uh, or you know, any of the independents? That, that... I don't. I don't really care about party. I'm more interested in individuals. I like individual candidates, regardless of what they call themselves. I'm, I'm, I'm very much more interested in individuals. I still vote, uh, unlike a lot of people who get disgusted with the system, because it's still about individuals. And who knows, maybe there's somebody to vote for instead of just voting against. All right, so what would you do if we had a political party that just promoted partying? Uh, well, I think that's a lot better use of time than most of what government does, so I'm all for it. I like parties. Oh, uh, Lloyd Kinder is going to be holding uh, parties on Tuesday uh, 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 where people can come and give five minute speeches of their own. Uh, 5 p.m. I guess at Murphy's Tap Room. Uh, would you be interested in coming? Uh, probably, certainly. Um, depends on whether, whether or not I can. A person can go to this party and then stay for the next party, which is Tap Room Tuesday. I mean. Tap Room Tuesday. So. I would enjoy that. I, I actually en I enjoy hearing what people have to say about everything. Um, I'm curious what the issues are. This would be like a little soapbox idol every week. And uh, <laughs> having only gotten here recently, I don't know what the, all the issues are. I yeah. watch enough Ridley reports, I know what some of the issues are. Yeah. Okay, I want to bounce some of the win-win party platform off of you. There's win -win 10 planks party. here. I'm just going to ask you about one. Okay. The plank number five is called non-compulsory taxation, voluntary contribution. Where's the victim, guys? Being kidnapped against my will? By men with guns. Are you, you going to walk? Law enforcement and public services must only be paid with voluntary contributions and group revenues, not forced taxation. What do you think of that concept? I think it's a wonderful concept, and I think that would make it much more dependent on the service that's being provided than what is now. Uh, if a good service is provided, I will pay for it. I, I like the idea of, I prefer competition. I don't like just one service provider. Uh, but if the service provider is being voluntarily paid for, then they're going to have to do some good in order to make money, and I'm okay with that. Now, if you could give a speech, which you can, I think, this coming week, uh, what do you think your speech, speech would be about? Um, the danger of fiat currency. That would be that my speech. That goes right to the root of the problem. Right to the root of the problem. If, well, one of the roots. Strike the uh, root. If I, if I had to strike the root, it would be legal tender law. Because legal tender law is what makes it possible for bad money to drive out good. Because if no one had to take the funny paper, no one would. All they right. would take good money. So they would. Yeah. So that, that would be the real route. All right, Chris, thanks so much for your time. An honor and a pleasure, sir. Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, Against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully, urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.